What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Pistol Kip Makes Doom. Today is just a quick showcase of some deathmatch maps I made this week. As you probably guessed by now, I absolutely adore the thigh flesh consumed aesthetic. The orange sky, excessive use of wood, marble, the steel beams and hellish iconography. So when submissions opened for the ultimate twango, I jumped on the opportunity to make not one, but two deathmatch maps in this style. Keep in mind that these maps are made for the ultimate doom episode 4. They must be vanilla compatible and there are some limitations on what we can do. Uh, no super shotgun. So this is E4M3 uh, or blood tub as I uh, called it now. Uh, if you have a better name please leave one in the comments. Uh, as you can see, a lot of steel girders, some skin, a lot of wood, obviously. Uh, this is the central courtyard area uh, where a lot of the action is gonna happen. Uh, there's a platform here with the rocket launcher. And there's a platform here with the green armor. There's a chain gun down here. Um, but first things first, where are the spawns? There are eight spawns on this map. Um, four of them are located in these little uh, closets. One here, one here one down here and one down there uh, two more are behind these marble uh, statues or what do you want to call them marble faces and there's one at the shotgun here at the rocket launcher and there is one at the chain gun here so eight total um, well we already know how to get the rocket launcher uh, the chain gun and the shotgun how do we get the plasma uh, we can just go down here and lower this platform but as you've probably already seen if I move up here, it goes down, I can grab it. Uh, there's a second way to grab it if I go up here. And jump down, I can also grab it. Um, this uh, blood pit only has two, two ways out. Uh, up the stairs here, or we can uh, move and jump down here. Into the uh, lower part of the map. Uh, there's two spawns here. Uh, there's another chain gun here, and there's a platform here, which uh, I'll explain in a bit, but uh, as you can see down here, this lava does actually hurt, so you don't want to spend too much time here, but there's some ammo to grab here, and we can lower this platform as well. How do we lower it? Then we have to lower the plasma, but you have to be uh, and get there in a hurry. We are rewarded, however, with the BFG that's sitting up there. Um, if you see someone going for the BFG, just move up here, spam them with rockets. You can also spam them from over here. And you can even spam them from where the rocket launcher actually is. So, the and of course, from up here too, probably. Yeah, so the grabbing a BFG is not without risk, as uh, people can just uh, rocket you from everywhere. Also, you have to hurry. Because if you're too late, oh, you're stuck in the lava again. Um, there's also a teleporter over here which takes you to the other side. Uh, the exit is over here with the chainsaw. And finally, over here, this platform lowers, revealing the mega armor. That's also something I took for the original E4 M3 which had some uh, lower platforming with uh, a rather large lowering platforms with some uh, uh, goodies and a teleporter behind it. Um, so let's hop in and see some real gameplay.
And this is E4M7, which is currently nameless. If you have a good name, leave one in the comments. Uh, this one also has a large central courtyard. As you can see, plenty of wood. Uh, a lot of skin though, too, on this map. And uh, yeah, can you believe that this all runs in vanilla? It does. It very much does. Um, there's a chain gun here. Um, but let's go over the spawns first. There are eight spawns on this level. Uh, one is at the shotgun a little cupboard over there. Um, one is in this little cupboard here. Also one on this side. And another cupboard here. That's four of them. Then there's two at the shotguns here in the corners. And there's two in these this room over here one here and one there um this entire room was inspired uh, very much by the real e4 m7 uh, it had uh, two of these rooms that were quite similar with a lot of marble uh, some orange sky textures in the back with some pillars and uh, these little stairs uh, i added some lava to this yeah that hurts you can get out though, um, you just have to, you know, be mindful of where you strafe dodge. Um, I'll get back to this button in a little bit. For now, this is the rocket launcher. If I grab the rocket launcher, it lowers the plasma as well, which some did then. And there's a green armor over here. If we move down here, there's a, uh, a blood hallway. Some more windows over here. Um, there's where the BFG is sitting and that cell charge in the back. Let's go get it. We just move down here, grab it. And there's a teleporter here, which brings us back up here near where the rocket launcher is. And it, of course, it also teleports back. So let's hit the button. It opens this door so I can grab the BFG and then it lowers down again. There's one more thing the button does. Let's go press it. It opens up this little passage to grab the mega armor and have an opportunity to uh, rocket spam anyone trying to grab the BFG. This doesn't open from the other side, so you'll have to jump back down here. And uh, this is where the exit is with another chainsaw. No, you cannot move up here, I'm afraid. So uh, let's jump into some gameplay shall we
Well, I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. If you want to try out these maps for yourself, come find them on the Doom World forums. Um, they're all in the Ultimate Twango Deathmatch Maker Watt. In fact, there are a couple of submission slots still open if you want uh, to try making a vanilla deathmatch map for yourself. If not, you have a cool nickname for uh, one of my maps, leave them in the comments. I've been Pistolkip, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.